Charlie, old boy, you're next. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all, I say. You have a go at it, dear Paul.
happy-go-lucky little fellow. No worries, no cares. Life's just for romping and playing with the little creatures of the jungle. Louie! Yes, Father? You're the future king of the jungle. Do you think you can command the respect of the animal kingdom by going around chasing butterflies? Why, our very roar makes the rest of the jungle tremble with fear. I'm getting old, son, and soon you must take over my duties. Be masterful. Act like a king of the jungle. Yes, father. <laughs> Yes, sir responsibilities sure have a way of tying one up into knots. The family tradition must be upheld, and Louis must now prove himself worthy of the position in life that he was born to. I'm going to be king of the jungle. Nobody seems to understand that a lion is supposed to command respect. Imagine being belittled by a worm.
of the animal kingdom. We are gathered here today to crown your new ruler, King Louis. <laughs> Suing my grandson. Why, you little runt, I'll quiet! Yo! Stop that dancing around like a wild Indian when a Texas Ranger is talking to the Texas Ranger. And if you eat out of this territory by sundown, I'm a gonna fill you full of lead. <laughs> Stop your perspiring, son. I can handle that critter. Getting rid of that Texas Ranger ain't gonna be no pushover. Gramps, this is the tallest building in the world. You can see three states from up here. I'm the observation guide, sir. If you want to get a good look at the state of Texas, just follow me. Texas? Well, now you're talking, son. You can see it from this observation platform, sir. Why, I don't see a thing that resembles Texas. <laughs> now I'll take care of you. Those observation platforms are dangerously weak. Now, what other sights would you like to see, Gramps? Hold it, son. There's the only sight worth seeing. Why, I don't see anything but black clouds. It's a jip. A fraud, that is. <laughs> Now, son, the shooting star Texas, big enough to see with the naked eye. This section 
section of the museum has exhibits of early American history. Look, son, there's old Annabelle. Why, I fought her in the Battle of Richmond till she was red hot. Ouch! Son, she ain't cooled off yet. Well, what do you know? My old army headquarters, where I was commander of the fighting 110th. Run for your life, Gramps! Attention! Why, just look at that uniform. You're a disgrace to the whole Confederate army. Uh, but, 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 Captain, I uh, say sir when you address your superior officer. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Why, I'll have you court martialed for this. Tension! Forward march. Up, two, three, four. Prisoner, halt. About face. Firing squad, ready. Team, fire. Remind me to report that man, E-W-O-L. Deserter, that is. Here's one of the most vicious killers of the jungle, Gramps. Shucks, boy. They're as gentle as kittens when you know how to handle them. <laughs> You're not so brave after all. Put me, I say, put me down, for my hot-tempered blood boils over and scalds you to death. <laughs> If you ever come back, you cowardly critter, I'll tack your hide up in my trophy room. So long, Gramps! Anytime you get in trouble with that critter, just let me know. So long, I say so long, son. You dropped your book. Thanks, Sonny. Just place it on the desk. What are you doing, Professor? I'm experimenting with a time machine. Time machine? How does it work? Just set the dial and pull this switch, and the past will appear on that screen. Come here, my lad. I'm ready to demonstrate. People in the past won't be scared of me. for a gentleman to treat a lady. Are you all right, ma'am? I just can't understand women. I hope people will be friendlier in another age. Bye. 
Thank <laughs> you. 